What if you get stuck in space? This is astronaut Chris Hadfield and he is demonstrating how someone may get stuck floating in space. I couldn't get this scenario out of my mind ever since I saw the video. The idea of getting stuck struggling in the empty void of space is terrifying. I have spent a good amount of time thinking about it and today I will share with you how to not get stuck floating in space and perhaps one day this could save someone. Chris Hadfield in this video is about the ISS and he is stuck because he's in free fall, orbiting Earth and constantly falling around the planet at the same rate as everything around him, creating the sensation of weightlessness. But the exact same thing can happen in deep space because of the absence of any nearby planets or asteroids that pull you in any direction. This is why there is no sense of direction in space. On Earth you know the difference when you're standing on your feet versus on your hands or head because you can feel the blood rush towards your head caused by gravity. But in space, all positions feel the same because nothing is pulling you towards any direction. That's why if you're not too careful, you could end up like this in space, a scenario where you can't run, crawl, or swim. So these are the solutions I have thought of to save you from this nightmarish situation. Number one, don't go to space. Funny to say that, but no one can get stuck in space if they don't go to space. This also sounds like something someone might regret not listening to. Number two, propulsion. This is the simplest solution and the reason spaceships can accelerate or stop. There is no air in space. Helicopters, for example, will never move in there no matter how fast their blades spin. But according to Newton's third law of motion, for every action there is an opposite reaction. Inside the spaceship's engine, fuel and oxidizer are burned together, releasing gas that goes backward and creates a reaction force that pushes the ship forward. In the same fashion, astronauts actually carry small jetpacks called safer units, a system that uses compressed nitrogen gas to propel them in any direction with precise control. This is their actual emergency backup if they get disconnected during a spacewalk. Number 3. Grappling Hook You can simply carry a hook with a long rope with you. Throw it forward and try to catch something you could pull yourself towards. I'm also guessing a magnet and some sticky tape might come in handy. In case you didn't have a grappling hook, you can be creative and remove your shirt or even pants. Tie them together and use them to try and grab something nearby. Number 4. As a last resort, grab anything and throw it away from you, and that will send you in the opposite direction. This is a low budget proportion, but it could save your life. Even throwing a glove or a small rock could give you enough momentum to drift towards safety. Of course, no one goes to space alone and your teammates will always look after you. But make sure you remember the tips given in this video, because no one can hear you scream in space.